record. It's recording. Um, but I don't know if it's recording to the cloud or not. Well, I guess we'll figure that out. Okay. So let me get my notes. <laughs> it's okay. We'll figure it all out. No yes. worries. All right. So we're kicking off the next oily fireside chat. I hope my arms don't get tired holding up my phone here. Um, <laughs> I feel like Sarah Harnish, like sitting here holding my phone, talking to it. <laughs> but that's okay, I got my notes over here. So we are at July 14th and we're kicking off uh, session mini class, if you will, number two in our immunity support series. Um, so last night we talked, not last night, last week, we talked about gut health and ways that we use Young Living products to support our gut health, which is essential for a healthy immune system. Tonight, we're here to talk all about supplements uh, because there's a lot of them. And there's probably no way we can possibly touch on all of them that can be used for immunity support. So we're just gonna talk about some of our favorites and how we use them and maybe a little bit about why we chose them to support our immune systems. And we'll jump into that. Um, but first, I guess I just want to shout out a few housekeeping items. Um, we are going to be posting the replay of this on YouTube. So if anyone feels, and it would be a public link, so if anyone feels uncomfortable being on video on YouTube, just go ahead and turn off your camera, no problem. We don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable and be surprised that their mug is all over YouTube for anyone to see who goes and watches our replay. Um, <clears throat> when you pop in and are watching, of course, usually we hope this would be live. This time around, it'll be the replay. Just say hi and tell us where you're watching from. Uh, let us know that you're catching the replay. It um, helps our businesses, and we are all small business. It helps us when you engage with us, when you chat, and when you like our posts and when you share them. Um, it's really, really supportive to each of us and we appreciate that. So um, we love to share, um, spread the word on oils. And so the more you share and comment and like, the more we have the opportunity to do that. So we're just excited for your support. If you have any questions that you'd like us to answer, um, post it in the comments wherever you see this video, whether that be on YouTube or the replay on Facebook, and we will do our best to answer it to the best of our ability. We definitely watch all the comments and we'll make sure that we don't leave any of your questions kind of hanging out there and ignored. Um, and I guess last but not least, we have prizes. So, because we want to thank you for helping to support our small businesses. Um, we do a prize giveaway. I'm trying to open up my computer while I'm talking to you. Um, and we do a prize for every, if you like, what did we do? Like, comment, and share, you get an entry. Um, let's see here. And I'm opening up my, we'll decide prize right now. I don't know, can I turn this around? Yeah, I can. Okay, do you guys see my computer? Yes. Can you see the prizes? Do I need to go closer? Oh, hey, helps if I know where my uh, camera is. Okay, so we're gonna spin. This is our first prize of the night. What do I do? Okay, clicked. <laughs> Technology is hard, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we seem to be real tech challenged tonight. <laughs> Charlene, Charlene's our winner. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, for sure what the prize is, you guys. Who is doing our first prize giveaway? What is it? What'd she win? Is that you know? John. Let me let me unmute myself. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right. So prize number one is going to be a packet of Ninja Red. 
which Tessa will touch on later or why it is awesome. And then to go with that, I have a supplements usage guide. And if you open it up, it has all different types of supplements and then their suggested use. Um, so whether that would be like a foundation nutrition, something that maybe is used more for cleansing properties, um, for promoting sleep, for, for promoting a healthy weight, et cetera. It's all in here. So it's got the supplements listed on one line. And then on the top, it'll tell you um, the different things that it can be used for. And then each supplement, there's an X in the box that it corresponds to, if that makes sense. It's kind of like a little chart thing, which I find super helpful. There are a lot of supplements that Young Living carries. And a lot of times I even find myself being like, I don't even know what I would use that for because I simply just don't know. I don't currently use it. So I, I'm like, I don't even know what I'd use it for. Enter this bad guy, this bad boy here. It's a pamphlet, super easy to look at and really helpful. So Ninja Red and the little pamphlet. Awesome. Congrats, Charlene. That's an awesome prize. I want the supplement guide myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking that because we're having technical difficulties, maybe next week we do two prizes for shares, likes, and comments. Since we're having a hard time connecting with people live and they might be confused by whatever is going on here with um, my phone or internet issues, whatever it may be. So, um, do we want to kick it off? I don't know. Who are we also doing a prize for people who participate live and log in for the Zoom call? Um, we can. I can't see who that is. So okay. I'll leave that up to you guys because we were also doing it for who is watching Facebook Live and we're having technical difficulties. I well, I was talking like next week. Should we do that next week? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, we're good to go. I cool. can't see on so and on the phone whenever you guys talk I only see the people talking so I don't even know who's all here. <laughs> Swipe on your phone to the side and then you should be able to see at least three people. Did that work? Um oh hey yes. <laughs> hey I'm learning so much. <laughs> Tonight is tech night, apparently. <laughs> These poor people watching the replay are like, who's this dummy who doesn't understand how to use Zoom? <laughs> We're all learning. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I better give myself a little break from talking and just catch up with the whirlwind of technology foes I've had. So who wants to kick off our supplement night? I could go first. Uh, awesome. Mine is mostly reading because... So like the FDA is lots of fun to work with and trying to stay FDA compliant when you're reading other people's like testimonies and success stories and blogs like it's super hard to stay FDA compliant. So I like I have like you should see what's in front of me. I have books in front of me and I'm just going to read like an excerpt from this book and an excerpt because it's all FDA compliant. So I'm just going to like read to you guys stuff that I know is safe to post on YouTube. I highly encourage you to do your own research on Ningxia Red because there is so much out there on Ningxia. So um, Ningxia is a small province in China. In 1993, Young Living founder and president and CEO Gary Young was traveling the world seeking the natural secrets of life, energy, and vitality. He was introduced to the Chinese scientist, Dr. Chow, who told Gary about delicious wolfberry known as goji berries. It has been prized for thousands of years in China for its powerful health supporting benefits. Dr. Chow further explained that the people who regularly ingested this berry led remarkably long and healthy lives. Many residents of the Ningxia province of China live to be over 100 years old. This exceeds the national average by an amazing 400%. And they openly admit that their, secret, that their health secret lies in locally grown wolf berries. The Huang He River originates in the Himalayan mountains and flows through the Ningxia province. For centuries, the river has a unique, trace mineral rich, super fertile, slit water floodplain found nowhere else on earth. It is the perfect place to grow wolfberries, also known as goji berries. 
that the locals call China's Herbal Medicine Valley. There, this was something fascinating because you see goji berry flavored stuff all over natural food stores. There are over 80 species of wolf berries worldwide and they all vary in their antioxidant and nutritional value. So one wolf berry is not the same as the next wolf berry or goji berry the same as the next goji berry. The one that Young Living has is a specific Lyceum Barbarum L. So this is a specific type of wolfberry goji berry. It's only grown in Ningxia Valley. It's considered to have the highest antioxidant properties in China as it grows in this floodplain, which is sourced by the Himalayan mountains. The Himalayan mountains are known to be one of the richest sources of minerals and organic nutrients found on earth. So the idea of the complete house infusion drink was born. Gary Young created a very unique formula for the Ningxia Red drink. Ningxia Red has the highest levels of naturally occurring age-defying S oxygen radical absorbance capacity activity <laughs> to help support immune function. There's scientific papers about that that I read and it was way over my head. So I just dumbed it down. I was like, test the reading level. <laughs> They help support the immune function, which is our topic for this evening, cardiovascular health, and it nourishes the eyes. Ningxia Red also contains lemon and orange essential oils, which are rich in powerful antioxidant D-lemonine to, to promote healthy liver function. The Ningxia Wolfberry is the primary ingredient in Ningxia Red and has been cherished for centuries for its health, energy, and longevity benefits. Ningxia Red combines the extraordinary wolfberry superfruits, pure orange, yuzu, lemon, and tangerine essential oils, along with blueberry, orania, cherry, pomegranate, and plum juices to deliver a whole body nutrient infusion. I had no idea what an or orania was. It's kind of like the American blackberry, very similar fruit to that. So I looked that up for you guys too. So that's one resource. Next resource, which kind of goes with the prize tonight. This is the desk reference version of the little uh, guide that Janelle's giving. So this one is talking about what some of the specific ingredients in Nature Red do. They're pages. I'm just reading specific to immunity because that's our topic for the evening. So narrowed it down, narrowed it down. So one of the things that she highlights in here is iron, that the specific iron levels in Ningxia Red, they support healthy blood and the immune system. It also may help support fatigue if you struggle with that. Um, the Ningxia Wolfberry Puree, it's very important that it's a puree and not a juice because that contains parts of the skins and the seeds as well. So those nutrients are in there as well. They're not filtered out. So these are rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A and C, along with zinc and iron. It's unusually high in complex carbohydrates, and this high antioxidant puree boosts the immune system and has been found to be particularly beneficial to support liver and eye health. So that's in there as well. Um, the blueberry juice, the plum juice, the cherry juice, the orania juice, the pomegranate juice. It's a unique collection of extremely high antioxidant rich fruit juices, which are also known to boost immunity and protect against oxidative stress. Uh, do, 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 do. The essential oils, the specific ones picked, the orange, the yuzu, the lemon, the tangerine, these are all antioxidant rich citrus oils. They all help to boost immunity and cleanse toxins from the body. They support circulation and digestive health and support lymphatic drainage. I read about lymphatic drainage that also ties to your immune system. So this is like, whoa. And then my last source for the evening. <laughs> Tessa likes her sources. I did research, guys. And this is like narrowing it down. So the last resource is this one, my desk reference. All right. Ningxia Red's new formula promotes free radical scavenging by providing high levels of powerful antioxidants while boosting energy. Who doesn't need more energy? It supports brain and cognitive health as well as digestive health. The, the, nutrition, the nutritive power of Ningxia Red fortifies the cardiovascular system and supports healthy body blood pressure levels while promoting restful sleep patterns. It aids the body's natural anti-inflammatory response and enhances immune function. It also provides nutrients needed for healthy insulin sensitivity and promotes a feeling of satiety if taken prior to meals. Ningxia Red also supports proper muscle and joint health. So there you go. Those are my sources, narrowed down. <laughs> Not to mention on personal experience, it just tastes good. It tastes amazing. It does taste really good. <laughs> 
so there you go. I'm not sure what I was able to crunch that down to. That was like six days of research, but I crunched it down. <laughs> this is our researcher. She always has lots of great info. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for all the info. I learned a oh, lot. I, mean, I did not know there were so many wolf berries. And honestly, I did not know the wolf berry and the goji berry was the same thing. I feel like a really, really bad uh, essential oil user for not knowing that, but now I know. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was so many different species of yeah. the berry. So that was super interesting. And um, yeah, very interesting. One tip that I would suggest is to keep your ninja in the fridge. I don't yeah. like it um, warm, but keep it in the fridge. Or if you've got kiddos, put them in the freezer and you can um, cut off the top and then let it unthaw a little bit and it's like a slushy. and my kids think it's like the coolest thing ever. Awesome. And a way for us adults to keep cool in the warm summer days. Yes, too. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I look forward to, to Ninja every, every morning. I look forward to it. I'm like, oh, gotta have some of that. Gotta have some of this, you know. So thank you, Tessa, for, for all yes. of that. Dive information. You did My it pleasure. <laughs> I have more. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have as much information. Does anyone mind if I go next? Go for okay. it. Awesome. So um, I actually volunteered, by the way, here's my cat. He decided he wants me to pet him as I'm holding my phone, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, so um, he likes that I use oils, by the way, because then he doesn't have toxins either. Um, okay, so Young Living just came out with a new product that I'm excited about, vitamin D. Um, I have to be honest, I haven't tried the product yet, but I'm super excited to try it. So for those of you who know that I talk about getting oils on a budget, I still have about half of a bottle of my vitamin D supplement here that I'm going to finish up first before I switch over to the Young Living brand. But after I was reading more about the Young Living brand, um, I'm definitely switching as soon as I can. So... First of all, I was reading everywhere that vitamin D is so awesome for your immune system, but nowhere was really telling me why. It was just saying vitamin D is good for your immune system, yada, yada, yada. So I found a whole bunch of articles on PubMed about vitamin D and the effects of the immune system. And frankly, a lot of what they said is not language I can even uh, pronounce, much less completely understand. So I'm going to, like Tessa did, encourage you to do a little bit of your own research and find the articles that you find interesting to you. The one um, that did um, kind of stand out to me as I was doing it is that um, in the abstract of this test that was um, done or, or um, research, project, if you will, that was done on vitamin D in the immune system. It says right here that vitamin D can modulate the innate and adaptive immune responses. And a deficiency in vitamin D is associated with increased autoimmunity and an increased susceptibility to infections. Mm. So it does say that um, uh, the beneficial effects of supplementing vitamin D deficient individuals with autoimmune disease may extend beyond just the effects on bone and calcium homeostasis. So it's telling us what happens when we're deficient in vitamin D, which then to me supports that having healthy levels of vitamin D would help our immune system. And I learned a little bit about Young Living's vitamin D. I love, um, now on our website, I'm actually gonna turn this around a little bit so you guys can see where you can get this information. So I just did a search for vitamin D and it talks about it here. <clears throat> In fact, this whole innate and adaptive uh, language is coming out right here on the website. So they must have found the same uh, research article that I did. Um, the tablet is dissolvable. It's made with lemon balm extract and vitamin D. 
Not only does it help your immune system, but it helps support mood and hormone regulation. We all know I'm like Mrs. Horms over here trying to balance my hormones. So um, I like hearing that. Vitamin D plays a key function in respiratory health, which we could all use a little boost in these days. And let's see, what else does it say here? So I like that it can dissolve. I'm sure that it tastes wonderful if it's dissolvable because everything that you can eat in Young Living is like delicious. It's plant-based and vegan friendly. So if you are vegetarian or vegan, you would be able to use this vitamin D supplement. It says it helps boost healthy immune systems. It helps support bone growth and healthy muscle. Contains no gluten, yay, soy, double yay, dairy, egg, fish, shellfish, or nut containing ingredients. Um, you take about two tablets with food and it contains 250% of the daily dose of vitamin D. Um, our vitamin D3 is naturally sourced from sustainable lichen, which is a plant that's native to North America, Scandinavia, and Asia. And it's been historically used in European traditional medicine. So knowing the um, high quality and the integrity of Young Living, I feel very good about taking this vitamin D supplement and hearing um, that it's sourced from the sustainable source. Uh, that's not always the case. Um, so I feel pretty good about that. I had more information here, but I think maybe I read it all and I just scrolled through it. So um, if anyone has other information on vitamin D, feel free to chime in here, but um, I'm waiting for this product to come. So I haven't actually had the chance to taste it since I'm using up the last of mine. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna turn it over to whoever's next. Okay, I think I will go next. Can I say one thing? I'm sorry. Oh, certainly. No, no problem. You go ahead. I won't, I won't go into too much detail, but supporting your bones and um, that balance of calcium and um, vitamin D. Okay, here's why that's so important. A lot of, I'm going to try not to go into too much detail. I'm going to keep this very basic. Okay, a lot of like the immune modulators within your body are released from your bone marrow. So if you have a healthy, if you've got healthy bones, you're promoting bone health and bone growth with um, things such as supplements and or diet, those sorts of things. You are also promoting a healthy immune system. So vitamin D, um, many people are deficient in the summertime. Of course, we can easily get outside, get some natural vitamin D from the sunlight, but especially in the wintertime, um, all year round, but especially in the wintertime um, is even more important. But if you, the vitamin D is important for helping the calcium be absorbed is basically the very basic um, gist of things. So calcium, vitamin D, healthy bones, healthy immune system, because a lot of your immune modulators are released from that bone marrow. I guess the other thing I want to add to when talking about, hey, it's summertime and we get a lot of sun, we have to remember that. So most of us are, and Anne, I think you even are too up there in New York, right? Or Delaware. Where are you Delaware? Okay. Delaware. We're yeah. all in like the northern region here of the United States and the sun's rays are just not as direct here. So even though it is summertime, we do not necessarily get the sun's rays to absorb as much vitamin D as other areas. So even when you're out in the sun, you may find that you are a little bit deficient um, in vitamin D. I have an aunt who, um, she makes tinctures and does a lot of wild foraging and she's outside a lot in the summer, like a lot, way more than most people are outside. And when she has her vitamin D levels checked, she mentions that she's even on the deficient side for as much as she's outside. And so um, it can be attributed to kind of the Northern regions and where we're at that we don't have as much direct sunlight. So just a little addition there. Oh, I think, I think I, I myself need to um, get some of that vitamin D. Me too. Uh, as well. 
Um, my wish list. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you got to keep adding it to the list, to the list. Um, so my little blurb tonight is on what I would call like my superhero vitamin, super B. Um, for many, many years, I used to, you know, I'd buy like all the B vitamins, the B6 and the B12, and they were all like separate vitamins. So by, by the time you, I mean, you had a whole handful of just B vitamins. Um, and so I was really excited when Young Living came out with Super B because it includes B1 and 2 and 3 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 9 and 12. <sighs> um, and I really like that because it's a complex, it's one vitamin, um, good to go. Um, it um, is, um, it is source, the source is derived from like lemon peels. Um, and it isn't readily available in the body. Okay, so most of the time we get our B vitamins from our food that we eat. But if, you know, not everybody is going to make sure that they're getting the right amount of vitamin B in their diet. Um, so this is just one way that, you know, you can at least have the a surety in, in the back of your mind that, okay, you know, I'm at least doing this, you know, doesn't mean that you still don't get it from your foods because that is the, actually the best way to get your vitamins is through the foods that we eat. Um, the one thing that I thought was really cool um, with this was that it's not only um, a comprehensive vitamin complex that contains eight of the vitamins um, that it also um, contains nutmeg essential oil, which I was like, oh, I didn't know that. You know, I'm like, that'll teach me not to, not to read the bottle. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I just love this stuff. I'm energized. And, um, but it also has minerals such as magnesium, um, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Um, so somebody that's, you know, my age, in my 50s, I always like to just say, that's how old I am. I'm in my 50s. Um, but I'm, you know, I exercise regularly. Um, I'm a runner, you know, so I need to have the, the healthy bones and I need to have, you know, things that are going to align properly um, to sustain my immune system at a healthy level. Um, I don't want to feel like I'm being run down. Um, so it Super B not only assists in maintaining healthy energy levels, but it supports the mood. Um, so my mood, my cardiovascular system. Um, and that is something that I'm very, um, very intentional about. Um, because on, on my mom's side of the family, um, there's a history of heart disease um, in all the females. And so in my mind, I'm like, well, what, what steps can I take to make sure that I lower my risk. You know, I mean, it's not gonna take it away because it's a hereditary thing, but I can at least reduce my risk. So I'm very much, um, you know, I'm very much conscientious about, you know, take, taking care of myself, um, making sure that I'm getting the right amount of foods, vitamins. Um, and, you know, what I found is that, you know, I, I feel good, my body, isn't um, stiff, you know, it, my joints aren't stiff. I mean, I recover fairly well. Um, and so, so B vitamins, you know, are, they're just essential to our health and well-being in general. Um, and they actually, each part of the super B, my superhero vitamin, plays a different role um, in the body. Uh, so they each have a job, which I think is really cool. And it just knows what it's supposed to do. Um, and, you know, they must be, be replenished daily because, again, they are not stored in the body like many other um, supplements are. So that's the gist of my superhero B vitamin. Um, and I, I will have to say it does, it does give me energy. Um, it does help to uh, boost my immune system. One thing I want to add yep. to your Super B 
is that um, anybody that is following a vegan diet in specific um, oftentimes is B12 deficient. Mm -hmm. And B12, a good source of that is your animal drive products. So your eggs and your dairy products. So um, Super B also has B12 in there. Um, <clears throat> you do a little Google search and you can see, you know, what does B12 deficiency look like, like clinical presentation, but really important to supplement as Anne mentioned, um, it's not something that's stored within your body. So you need to supplement that. So if you're, um, if you're choosing to follow a vegan diet, I'd encourage you to check out Super B for your supplement. Thanks, Janelle. Welcome. Okay, I think it's my turn. All right, so I am going to be talking about Inner Defense. Inner Defense was one of the first supplements that I tried from Young Living. Um, I think this was mentioned in a previous video, in the previous immune series. Actually, I think I showed up in my scrubs, so there's that. Um, but I'm a nurse by trade, so this was one of the first supplements other than uh, Life Nine, the probiotic, that I jumped on board with. And Inner Defense, the primary purpose of this supplement is immune support. So the, the ingredients are oregano, thyme, lemongrass, clove, lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and cinnamon bark. Mm -hmm. All of those oils are contained in this capsule. And all of those oils, I would encourage you to go ahead and do some research and you are gonna be astounded at the potential of those oils in specific for your immune system. Um, the directions on the bottle are to take one, one daily, yeah, one soft gel daily in the morning, or you can take one soft gel three to five times a day as needed. So in, the winter months or times that I feel like I need a little bit more support, I'll do more often the inner defense. Otherwise I'll take one, one daily. Um, and it has been super, super helpful. Also, um, what I have found to work well is if I take my inner defense, I have a really hard time with like, take this one in the morning and then take this one at noon and then take this one at night. Like I'm lucky I take them. So, what works well is if you can take the inner defense maybe earlier in the day and then follow it up. I do my probiotic at nighttime. So we talked last week about how probiotics um, help with your gut health, which is so important for your immune system. We talked last week about like 70% of your immune system is contained in your gut. So if you take the inner defense, follow that up with the probiotic and your immune system will thank you. I could say a lot more about the supplement, but as Tessa mentioned, um, as with any supplement or non-FDA approved product, we're very limited in what we can say um, as we are not allowed to diagnose, treat, or suggest cures for anything. So do your own research, be your own health advocate, and get some inner defense. I wanted to thank you, Janelle, for talking last week um, about the probiotics because with Karis being on the um, antibiotics from her fall last week, which she's doing wonderfully, um, she was screaming during my presentation last week because she needed a second popsicle. Um, <laughs> Um, but she's doing very well. And I wanted to thank you for mentioning the probiotics because that hadn't even crossed my mind. And she's doing very well with her gut health thanks to the probiotics because the last time she was put on antibiotics for something, she was messed up for weeks. So bad. yeah, it was horrible. So thank you, Janelle, for reminding me last week about the probiotics because that's been super helpful this time around. No problem. Well, it's not on topic, but I'll throw one thing in there quick. 
Um, so I sent Tessa a message over the weekend. I was helping a, a buddy work on his house and uh, I just sent her a picture and it was a pair of uh, somewhat rusty tin snips and um, the insect repellent that Young Living has, which I keep pretty much carry with me anytime I go out somewhere because bugs love me for some reason. And uh, I'm not such a big fan of mosquitoes. So I had it with me and I just sent her the picture. I didn't send any contacts or tell her what I did. I just sent her the picture. And, I was so confused. Yeah, and <laughs> was like, and it was kind of the purpose of it. Okay. And uh, I very carefully made sure that both items were in the picture. And um, from a guy's standpoint, I like to multitask things. So nothing ever really ends up used for its intended purposes. So we were at the work site. I never touched the bug repellent. It was a nice, uh, clear day. It was a little bit of breeze. And uh, I got home. I told Tessa, I said, I sent you that picture. And you're not going to believe what I used it for. I used the essential oil for the tool itself, but actually rusted shut. And I didn't have any other kind of lubrication in there for the tool. And I thought, well, you know, you use, I've used lemon to get rid of rust. Yeah, I can see, I can see it. Uh, but I've used the lemon to help get rid of rust and other stuff in the garage. It's like, you know, it's essential oil, it's gonna work. Worked like a charm. And I pitched it to, the, to my friend's dad as uh, the new line of men's scented hand tools. So it worked really, really well. So if you have rusty tools, use insect repellent to get it to work instead of WD-40, apparently. Yeah, we didn't have anything. So use what you have at hand. It worked really well. Great job, Luke. Great Thank you. job. <laughs> I would rather have uh, Young Living insect repellent than WD-40 around. So. Right? <laughs> right? Know. Yeah. Okay, I think that wraps that up tonight, right? Everybody chatted? Awesome. Okay, well, my internet is going wonky over here again. And you guys, seriously, I wish I could record this. So you can hear how funny you all sound on this end. It sounds like you're like in another dimension going slow motion as you talk. Like those old record players where you could slow it way down. It's so funny. <laughs> Anyway, um, so we can wrap up and we'll see you all here next week. Uh, same place, same time, eight o'clock central. We use the same Zoom link. Hopefully there will not be technical difficulties next time. I'm gonna promise to figure this out by then. So <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Have a good night, bye. Bye y'all.